I just sat there every day at work going like, this is my job. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm Lisa Thorne. I'm the Associate Art Director for the publishing team on League of Legends, and this is my short story. I'm originally from Minnesota. I went to school for music, studied classical opera. I never had any formal training in visual design, illustration, any of that stuff. I still wanted to be a designer. I still wanted to be creative. I kind of just tried to pick that up on my own. I've been at Riot for seven and a half years. I had a bunch of friends in order to keep in touch with them. I played a little bit of League of Legends with them. And they're like, hey, uh, Riot's it's hiring, you should totally apply. I'm like, yeah, there's no way. There's no way, but okay, yeah, sure, I'll apply. And so I put in my application. It was like three months and 10 different interviews later. <laughs> I finally, finally made it here. As an art lead, I uh, work with a group of artists. We work on a lot of different things like skins, campaigns, everything from sci-fi project to a magical girl star guardian, champion reveals, and defining what the league core brand looks like and how that impacts new players and their onboarding experience. The main challenges I think I face as an artist at Riot is just understanding these millions of players that we have spread across every part of the world, you know, and they all want something different out of League. And trying to find a balanced way to make all of those different players happy without, you know, it being a completely lukewarm experience for everyone. And doing that consistently is really, really difficult. I'm a huge, huge fan of anime. I worked on skins, I worked on building out these different thematics, like Star Guardian, and that was awesome because players, they're super honest when they find something that they like. So many players uh, made fan art and, you know, created their own stories, you know, like, I love that. I love seeing and watching that unfold. Star Guardian thematic was basically the perfect combination of all of my passions with anime, with league, uh, with art, and it all kind of came together. I listen to a ton of video game music. Final Fantasy VI is probably my favorite soundtrack of any game, and so I've always wanted to be a part of that. I went out to lunch with Christian Link, who is the composer. And we were talking about music, and he asked me to come in and just sort of sing on top of some music that he was working on. And if it worked out, would you be interested in singing on the Diana piece? And then I'm like, oh yeah, totally. But on the instant, I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> please, 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 please. Uh, dream come true, because like one of the t like top five things I've ever wanted to do is sing on a video game soundtrack. And that led to a whole bunch of different things that I got to do. For Worlds 2016, I got to sing the Diana piece. It was incredibly terrifying <laughs> uh, because getting on this uh, huge stage with all of these really talented musicians, breathing the same air as those people and being you know, seen as one of the performers uh, along with all of these people that I basically idolized. It was like, oh my god, oh my god, oh god. <laughs> I feel pretty lucky that I've gotten to do some music for Riot, and probably to this day is still like one of the coolest experiences that I've gotten to have in my in my life. <laughs> uh, and that was that was a, a lot of fun. I love being an artist at Riot because you take the things that you're interested in in your personal life, and you get to use it when you go to work.